Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'll be going over the new texture recoloring tools available in Colorway 5.0. There are now two ways that you can recolor a texture in Colorway. The first method is by changing the overall hue of a texture, and the second is through subdividing the texture and then recoloring the subdivided areas. Both methods have their own uses and purposes, but both are incredibly useful. But why would we need to recolor a texture? Well, say you're working on a shoe or a bag design, and you've applied a fabric swatch or pattern, and then you think to yourself, wow, this colour is really ugly. What do you do? Not to worry, Colourway's got you covered. The first method we'll be looking at is how to change the hue of a texture. This method is a really quick and easy way to change the colour of your textures while preserving high levels of detail like fabric weaves or monochromatic patterns. Before we can begin to edit our textures, we need to apply them. To do this, select the part of your DCI that you want to assign the texture to. This can be done by clicking the part directly or by selecting it from the items tree. After you've selected your part, navigate to the Materials and Textures tab and open the Textures menu. From here, click the Add New Texture Layer button. Find where your texture is saved on your computer and then press Select. When your texture is applied, you might notice that it's hard to see or is looking a bit washed out. This is because Colorway sets all textures to multiply by default. To fix this, change the blending mode from multiply to normal. With the texture fully visible, feel free to scale or rotate your texture as needed using the scale, position and rotate tools available in the texture menu. Now that the texture is applied and fully visible, we can change the colour. To do this, select your texture in the items tree. With your texture selected, click the colour you want your texture to be and it will change. You can use Colourway's inbuilt colour libraries, colour panel or custom colour palettes to change the colour of your textures. There's no limit to how many times you can change the colour of your texture. All you need to do is select a new colour and it will automatically update. Any colour changes can also be stored between variations by pressing the Store Current Version button in the Variations menu. The second method for recolouring textures in Colourway is to subdivide your textures and then recolour them. Subdividing your texture is basically turning parts of more complex textures such as patterns into smaller, more manageable chunks based on colour. For example, if you had a floral pattern where all your petals were one colour and all your leaves were another, you would select the petals by colour and they would be grouped together as one texture, while the leaves would be grouped together as another separate texture. This makes it easier to change the colour of more intricate, detail-oriented textures such as patterns, decals or logos. Let's get started. First, we need to apply the texture. This process is the same as the one covered earlier, but to recap. Select the part you want your texture to be on, go to the Materials and Textures tab, and then assign a new texture through the Texture sub-menu. Make sure to change the blending mode to normal, as well as make any scaling or rotation adjustments, and then you're good to go. With the texture selected, press the Subdivide Texture button located on the Textures menu. The Subdivider window will open. From here, we can begin to select the areas of our pattern that we want to recolour. To do this, I'm going to click on the plus sign to the right of the colour bar called Original. Once I click this, the cursor will turn into a crosshair and from here I can select the colour that I want to be able to change. Once your colour has been selected, you will notice that both the original and the previous sliders have changed colour. This not only shows us what colour has been selected, but also allows us to make sure that no other similar colours have been selected as well. Because Colourway selects colour through a range instead of a single hex code or Pantone swatch, Sometimes colour bleeding can occur and we can use the preview slider to check and correct this. For example, because I know the background of this pattern and the petals on the flowers are both shades of pink, I know that there's going to be some bleeding between the two. If I change the preview colour to a colour on the opposite end of the spectrum, like a neon green or a blue, I can see that some bleeding has occurred between the two parts of the texture. Whilst this isn't ideal, it's incredibly easy to fix, so don't worry. On the colour slider that looks like a rainbow, you may have noticed that two handles appeared when you selected your colour initially. These handles are adjustable and what we'll be using to redefine our colour selection. All you need to do is click and drag one of the handles until your colour stops bleeding. The preview window updates live as you're adjusting the colour range so there's no guesswork involved. Feel free to keep tweaking your selection until your colour range covers all the areas you want contained in one texture. This part can take a bit of finessing, so don't be concerned if it takes a while to get the colour range just right. 
Now the idea behind subdivided textures is that you break down one intricate texture into multiple smaller ones and then recolor them piece by piece. This means that this process needs to be repeated more than once depending on how detailed your texture is and how many areas need to be changed. So, because my texture is a floral pattern that has two types of petals, leaves and a background, it needs to be subdivided into four separate textures. All pieces need to be subdivided separately, so before moving on to a new part, make sure you click the plus again to create a new subdivision. Repeat this process as many times as needed to fully subdivide your texture. If you accidentally subdivide an area that you didn't want or mean to subdivide, you can delete subdivisions by clicking the marker that appears over each colour range and then click the minus button to delete it. Once you've hit apply, you can X out of the subdivision window. You've probably noticed that the texture is now all white. Don't panic, this is what we want. It means the texture has been subdivided properly and is now a blank canvas ready to be coloured. The recolouring process is dead easy and similar to the process we covered in the first half of the video. Once the texture has been subdivided, it gets cut into multiple smaller textures. Almost as if someone has cut out each part individually from a larger texture and then given each cut out part its own new layer. Because of this, each texture can only be selected from the items tree. However, it's super easy to find your textures in the items tree. All you need to do is click on the part with the texture assigned and then the part along with any textures or materials assigned to it are also selected. If you don't know where the items tree is or you can't see your textures being highlighted, by default the items tree can be found by pressing the layer stack icon on the left hand side of the workspace. With your items tree at the ready, you can now select your subdivided textures one by one and assign colours to them either by using the colour panel, colour libraries or your own custom palettes. There are endless possibilities and colour combos for subdivided textures, so feel free to play around with what areas you do and don't want subdivided, as well as colours and materials to spice up your asset and have fun with this new feature. Like any other texture or colour change, subdivided textures can be copied to other parts of your DCI or asset and can be modified between variations. For more information on variations and copying textures between projects, check the links in the video description or visit learn.foundry.com slash colourway. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information on colourway, as well as tutorials, documentation and the user guide, visit learn.foundry.com forward slash colourway.